Okay, we're in the inner temple of the first, and here she is. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful? You say it like it was a bad thing. Power, in the right hands, can be beautiful. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After all, Mother knows best. I only wanted what was best for my children. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? The only difference is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. Wow. Talk about tough love. I love you all. Good night. I'm gonna need your help more than ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. Land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. But she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals, because she knew the first was watching her, and by extension, watching you. Those locations were the last things in the first's memory, and so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. The doctor disguised the items, but all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. I'm losing you. Annual connections drifting. Can you still hear me? Great. And our neural connection is strengthening. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. You got it. We need just one more piece, which means one more memory. What? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying? Trying to interfere with my plans. Ignore her. Just find the third. You did it. We've got the final piece of the device. I'm going to pull you back to the temple so we can put the three pieces together. We're back. Oh. What happened? Objects. They're here, but what do we do now? You're too late. Don't you see that? I'm redeeming my children, giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Happy Mother's Day. I think we need some help. Doctor, what now? My love, my people. 
They reckoned the first might make it here someday, so they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave lying about. So I split it into three and hid it. I knew the first would be watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist, and that you could get back to them. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives, offered her a truce. She refused. So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. You've hardly any time left. I know what you've got to do. You've got to sonic the device. Flowers, remember my love for you. I only wanted what was best for my children. For you. Wow, well, I don't want you to get too big for the boots, but guess what? I reckon you just saved the universe. The first's been flung back to the beginning of time, but she's not dead. Without her, the virus ceased to exist and reality has snapped back into place. But because the first lives, she's effectively in a time loop. She will try time and time again to unleash the virus and wipe out all of sentient creation. Her threat will recur over and over. She will always return, which is why you must always be there to stop her. I'm taking you back to where it all started. The little laundry in London. I'm sorry I misled you. I had to. I let the first kidnap me, and I had to let her think I was done for. I knew she might intercept some messages, and knew she wouldn't be worried about you collecting Zyton. Why would she? She thought she was invincible. But all the time I was working with you. I only work with the best, and I knew you fitted the bill. I always know. And before you go, one more thing. Emma, I've downloaded her consciousness into a synthetic person. Someone you might recognise. Away from all this, she's living a happy life because of everything you did. And she is so grateful. We've landed. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognise this place? Go on. Take a look. You're going to have to do it all over again to save the universe and steady. You'll feel disorientated for a second or two. That's because we've shorted out the time differential, but you'll be OK in a tick. Right, this is goodbye. For now, just two more things. One, thank you, really. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And two, you remember Emma told you she'd always be your friend. Well, that next two of us. Thank you.